I've come to realize that people that start something, they're always rich. Have you noticed? People that champion anything, especially when it is productive things, they're always wealthy. This year you champion good cause. In your field, in your office, in your company, you will champion a good cause. In this generation, you will champion a good cause. I'm serious. Check out list of people who are doing well. They champion something. There was something God told them to do. He didn't tell any other person to do it and they were the first to do it. They were the first to do it. And they did it well. And God blessed it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So what God will be telling you may not be popular. It may not even make sense. In fact, most of the time, don't tell everybody because if you tell everybody, they will say, are you okay? Abraham did not take anybody. He didn't tell anybody. The Bible says, and Abraham departed as he was commanded. You too will depart as you are commanded. Yeah. Shout a big amen. Yeah. What Elisha was doing wasn't popular at that time. Just, just going after Elijah. Just running after him. And the sons of prophets said, do you know your master will soon be taken from you? He said, I know, be quiet. And they were looking at him like, what is he doing? And the Bible says when they got to Jordan, 50 prophets stood somewhere. They watched how God elevated him. This year, they will watch how God will elevate you. Amen. You didn't say amen properly. Amen. People who have been watching from afar, they will see God promote your life. Amen. They will see God bless you. Amen. In their very face, the same boy of Elijah, because they call him Elijah boy, the same boy of Elijah stood by Jordan and commanded Jordan to divide into two. And he divided. They used their own mouths. He was not the one that told them, now I have the anointing of Elijah. They used their own mouths and said, the anointing of Elijah now rests on Elijah. It was very obvious. Your success this year will be very obvious. Your achievements and progress this year will be very obvious. It will be undeniable. Blind eyes, we notice you have increased. You are not saying them properly. What Elijah did was not popular at all. Please, this year, don't just do what is popular. Please, I beg you. If you really want to get some, if you really want something remarkable to happen in your life, please be careful you're not doing what is popular. Please, this year, be careful you're not copy and paste. You know, we, we do a lot of copy and paste. You will get common results when you do common things. Please, this year, take time in God's presence to meditate. God has some brilliant ideas for you this year. You see, if you will spend time in God's presence with some quality materials, God has so many things in store for you this year that eyes have not seen nor hear heard. Don't be too busy that you cannot stay in God's presence this year. Don't be too busy you can't spend time in meditation this year. Don't be too busy you are just dropped everywhere. It has been discovered that the wealthiest people on earth, their neck up walk more than their neck down. Their what? Neck up walks more than their... And the poorest people, if you go to uh, where their neck down walks more than their neck up, that young man said when he joined our church, I think I shared the testimony in the second service, first service, he was doing labor work. You know labor work on site? Those who carry block. And he thought that's the only thing he can do to take care of himself. He said he had the work to a point. He started resenting that work. That no, I can start here, I can't end there. Then he began to engage. He went to school. In between two, he went to school. He now went back to school. Became a graduate. Started doing research and everything. Then this guy who was a Lebira, we call it Lebira, Lebira, that's what we call them in Nigeria. Today, he exports Kula nuts to outside the country and makes seven digits per week. If you go and find out from that young man, the measure of energy he uses when he was carrying block and the one he's using now is not the same. Here is working more now. Here is not working as much. Here, or your upstairs must work well this year. If the lines will fall onto you in pleasant places, this place must wake up. This place must not hibernate. 
This place must be working dangerously, intentionally. Somebody said, Pastor, get good material. Expose your mind to quality revelation, quality materials that will ginger the, your thinking. Are you following me? That young man said, they are so poor he could not go to school. But when, he, look, he, what happens in this church is a miracle of the mind. That's, if you ask anybody that God has blessed in this church, it starts from the mind. Your mindset will just shift. Boom. In the course of hearing God's word, your mindset will just shift. And the moment the miracle begins in your mind, it will affect your mouth. If it's not, if it does not affect your mouth, it's because the work is not complete in your mind. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Matthew 12, 34. You begin to say things that nobody says in your lineage. You begin to talk about, it will just change. It will now affect your character, your decision-making process. And before you know it, you see your life changing. You now see yourself signing seven, eight digits, seven, uh, ten, and nine digits uh, check, and you begin to say, am I, am I the one? Am I dreaming? It's you. It's the same you. Something has happened. Somebody is there, you will hear God expressly. You won't follow people on what God told them. You are not saying amen. amen. It is what God told you, you will follow. Amen. You are not saying amen. amen. I remember when COVID-19 came and all pastors were shocked that they could shut down the church. Every pastor was shocked. That they said there is no service. That week, they said there will not be service. The number of calls I got from different pastors, man of God, what are you going to do? I told them, whatever God asked me to do, you to go and meet God. And don't ask me, what am I going to do? And say, God, what am I supposed to do? I got so many calls. What are you going to do? Man of God, what are we going to do? I said, don't say, what are we going to do? It's not a we thing now. You see, there are we situations, there are high situations. Huh? Don't mix it all. Don't say we. It's not we now. It is what am I going to do? Huh? It's not generalized. You don't generalize and say, ah, since we are members of the same church, what are we going to do? It's not every time it's going to be like that. Too. Sometimes it will be, what am I going to do? And I remember God told me that this is going to help the church to move to another level. And I became excited about that year, I mean that event. And God told me things to preach and I started preaching from here. Amen. It was during lockdown. That young man that testified, that was when he got his miracle. That uh, young man in IT department. It was during lockdown. Look, there is something God has positioned that God wants to do in your life. You will not miss it. There are people God wants you to meet this year. There are people you should not meet. Oh, there are people you should not meet. <laughs> there are people you should not meet. Lot was not part of that journey at all. But Lord joined the journey and see what happened to Lord. He missed it all. Be careful not to follow the crowd in 2023. Be careful not to follow popular things in 2023. I've come to realize that people with outstanding accomplishment do not always follow popular things. If you meet outstanding people, outstanding in ministry, outstanding in business, they are not always doing popular things. In fact, some of them, their dressing is not even popular. Their look is not popular. The way they think is not popular. Are you following me? Go and watch it. I'm talking about outstanding accomplishment. This year, don't be afraid if you are different. Dare to be different. Huh? This year, dare to do things differently. Please, don't try to explain to everybody why you are different. Look, you are different because you are different. You are different because you are because sometimes we try to blend in, and when we are not blending in, we now try to explain to people, you see the reason why I'm not like everybody is because, is because you are different because you are actually different. You are actually destined to be different. You are a city set upon the hills that cannot be hidden. That means if we carry you like this and throw into the midst of your kind, you will stand out. If we carry you like this and throw in the midst of crowd, you will still, will still notice that you are there. That's, what, that's the way you are destined to be to be outstanding, to be distinct. 
Dare to be different in 2023. Dare to be different. Dare to be different. Exceptionality doesn't need advertisement. Exceptionality is self-advertised. People that are exceptional, they don't struggle to be known. They are just known. Please be exceptional in 2023. In your office, be exceptional. Don't blend with the crowd. Are you following me? Don't do what everybody is doing. Stand out. You are called to stand out. Be proud of yourself when you are standing out. Be proud of yourself when people say you are different. It's a compliment. It's not an abuse. Say, you are just so different. It's, they're actually complimenting you. Be proud of yourself when you are different. Because you are called to be different. Are you following me? Am I making sense to you? And if people say, ah, you are just like every other person. Please go and work on yourself. If everybody say, oh, you are just like every other person, then something is wrong somewhere. Because God did not create everybody to be the same. It is human beings that start copying themselves. Our fingerprint is not the same. Abi? Our fingerprint, even twins, Sister Taiwan and Sister Kenny, their fingerprint can never be the same. I remember when I just met the two of them, I didn't know who from who. One day they told me that this is the difference. There's always a difference. There's always a difference. Stop blending in. Stop blending in. Our problem is that many of us blend in a lot. We don't believe in ourselves. You are a distinct personality. You are number one of your kind. Nobody can be 100% exactly like you. Are you following me? You are unique. You are a peculiar person. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. The word holy there is a separated nation. You are separated. You are distinct. Are you following me? Stop trying to be like people. Every time you try to be like somebody, you destroy 75% of yourself. Every time you try to be like somebody, you destroy 75% of your own self just to be like somebody else. That's too much to destroy. That's too much of a destruction. Don't follow everybody to where they are going. Discover where God is commanding you to go. Hello? Say, where are you going? Say, where are you, where are you two going? Say, I, I know, where are you going? Say, no, where, where, where do you want to go? Now, you see, when you meet people that don't know where they are going, it's they, they look confused. Where are you going? You, you, you in particular. Where are you going? Are you following me? Somebody says, when you follow everybody to where they are going, you won't go anywhere. You won't go anywhere. You won't go anywhere. You want to go somewhere this year? This, he said, Abraham, follow me to the place I will show you. Abraham followed him. See the end of the life of Abraham. The journey of breakthrough in the life of Abraham started in Genesis chapter 12. When the Bible says, and Abraham departed as he was commanded. Today, after this message, you will depart as you are commanded. You will hear his voice. You will not be far from his voice. His voice will not, will not be faint in your spirit. His voice will be clear in your spirit. You will know what to do in 2023. You will know who to talk to in 2023. You will know what to do in 2023. You will know what to do in 2023. When I was in architectural practice, when I was really very active practicing architecture, I noticed that I met some big architects. That time, I had three sites. How many sites? Eh? I had three sites. So I told this big architect, I said I had three sites. He said, then you are a big man. Honestly, I don't have anything to show for the three sites. Look at the three sites. I was, I will move from, one was, one was in Eju. I'll move from Eju. If, my, if they sold up, I'll pack my 505 in the in filling station, take Okada, to go to the one normally. Then one day I called myself. So when I was talking to the man, God used him. I said, the man said, then you're a big man. I said, sir, I'm not a big man. No, that's why I came to you. He said, sometimes in two years, I may not do more than one project. In what? I may not do more than one project. Ah, I said, so how do you do it? He showed me the current project he was doing. 
It was a 16-story building. He said, from this project, I have, when he mentioned how much he has made, I almost fainted. <laughs> I almost fainted because he, he, I, I don't even know it's possible to make that kind of money in a project in a lifetime. And he said, just doing that project, he told me how many awards they have given him. In the Association of, I mean, uh, the National Association of Architecture, he said, how much award they have given him because of that project. He has not finished you. He told me all those who are already calling him for meetings outside the country because of that project. That was the day I knew I was not really, I was just trying to. <laughs> because the way he was analyzing this thing, it can't be ministry, I would be finding it difficult to understand like that. It's not possible. <laughs> In ministry, I catch it fast. This one, I was struggling. I was looking at the man like, ah, ah. I look like a, I walked out of that office frustrated. And I said to myself, this is not your major. Mm, this is not your major. Thank God I found my, I mean, I've always been here and I knew it was my major. If it is ministry, before you say two words, I understand what you are saying. That one, he was speaking Greek. I was looking at him like, ah, ah. How can you make such a money from one project? Are you stealing? This man is not stealing. Everything legal, everything clean. But we're strategized. This year, you'll be positioned for great things. You'll be positioned for double portion. You'll be positioned for great things. You'll be positioned for double portion. Elijah, Elisha got double portion because he told him, if you are there, when I'm being taken, he said it will be yours. He said, otherwise, it will not. That means the only condition your request can be granted is if you can just be well positioned, be at the right place at the right time. Stand up on your feet. Be at the right place at the right time. I like it. The only prayer we're praying to close this service, Lord, help me this year to be at the right place at the right time with the right set of people. And listen to me, when we talk about right place, we're not just talking about physical place. Sometimes it's not physical. Sometimes at the right place mentally. Sometimes what? At the right place mentally. Sometimes at the right place in perception. Sometimes, sometimes it's just perception. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ren Samadiemi told me something I will never forget. It changed my life. He said God told them to do something. And when they did it, he said people started removing their church in the page of small churches. They now started putting their church on the list of where they put big churches. Let me quickly explain to you. In everybody's mind, if I mention restaurants, all the restaurants you know will come to your mind. Am I correct? But inside your mind, you put some on the right for the big one. These are big restaurants. Ah, really? They are very big. The small, small, you put them on one side. When your name is mentioned in 2023, where in people's mind will you be? They say, ah, upcoming, upcoming, upcoming. Or they will say, ah, those are the voice, those are the shakers. The shakers, huh? the movers in the industry. That's where you are supposed to be. That's where you are. You have to see yourself that way. You have to See yourself that way. Talk that way. Carry yourself that way. Are you hearing me? Don't say, when I get there, no. You have to start now. Close your eyes, wherever you are. And that's all I want to achieve with the second service. In your mind, because you have to do it in your mind before people can do it. Remove yourself now on the list of small, small things. Small people. Upcoming. Failure. Frustrated. Cost. Now, now, in your own mind, put yourself in the midst of the blessed lineage. Put yourself top on the list. Top on the list. Top on the list. Top on the list. It's not pride, though. See yourself the way God sees you. It's not pride. See yourself the way God sees you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. When we just got married, Whenever I'm talking to my wife, I'll be giving her exact, I'll be giving her references of top women of God. I say, look at her like that. One day she said, Ah, you are always mentioned. I'm not. I said, that's where you are. As at that time, she wasn't there physically, but mentally, that's where me I see her. That's where. And she saw herself that way. And one day we finished service. 
They said Punch brought out 11 women of God in Nigeria that are making moves. And a friend of mine said, Do you, have you seen Punch? I said, I've not seen Punch. I said, go and get it. Your wife is there. Until there's a shift in your mind. Forget it. Until there's a shift. They say in our own eyes, we're like grasshopper. Okay. And so we are in their side. Oh, why not? There has to be a shift in your own mind. If you rate yourself as upcoming, all of you will say you're upcoming. I'm not, I mean, how can I be doing something for 10 years and I'm still upcoming after 10 years? After 10 years, Abba. It takes just 20 years to build a reputation. Half of 20, 10, 20 years, I've done it, and I'm still, then something is wrong somewhere. I prophesy. The mental shift you need, I command it to happen now. In your mind, in the heart of your heart, I command a mental shift. An upgrade. If it is your past that is affecting you, be delivered from the sting of your past. Be delivered from the sting of your past. I prophesy to you this morning as the shift is happening in your mind, when you get back to work from tomorrow, you begin to experience the reality of the shift. I said, when you get back to work today or tomorrow, you begin to see the reality of the shift. The shift happening in your mind right now, we have, in your mentality right now, will affect your reality. You are not saying Amen. It will affect your reality. It will affect your reality. It's not pride. Though. Somebody told me about a great servant of God in this country that even when he was caught in Ikeja, if I mention his name, you all know him. He was caught in Ikeja. They said his shirt, they used to pick it for him in uh, Katangua, his packet shirt. They said the way he carries himself, the way he comports himself. Today, if you mention... In his generation, I don't think you can mention too many people. I'm talking about Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Nobody gets to the top by just... No, it has to be deliberate and intentional. They say where he was cutting, even this, the host respect him. My friend I used to visit that place said, he said we'll be in this room, do all kinds of... He said he will not come out he said when he comes out, he, sold, he said he has always been neat. He has always been what? So you say, uh, they say, why are you dirty like this? They say, you know, we are upcoming. We are still trying to. That's not an excuse. That's not an excuse. Stretch your two hands up. In your mind now, let there be a shift. A shift that will cause a revolution a ship that will cause a promotion, a ship that will cause a major breakthrough in your life, receive it now! Amen. Begin to see yourself the way God sees you. Amen. Every step you are taking after this meeting will be a step forward. Amen. Forward ever, backward never. Amen. This year will be your most productive year. Amen. This year will be your most productive year. Amen. Wave your hands and give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. Thank him, thank him. Give him praise, give him glory. Thank you, Jesus. The young man stopped seeing himself like a liberal. He said he resented it. Something said, no, no, this is not you. I command a resentment to begin to happen in your mind against where you have always been, against where the enemy tied you. And I command your freedom into your destiny. So shall it be. In Jesus' precious name. Shout a big amen. amen. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Amen. It's a great privilege for you to be sitting close to me. It's not pride. It's not arrogance. But you are seated beside a great destiny. This is a star in this generation. Say, say, say this is a star. In this generation. Pastor Adeboye said, if you cannot blow your trumpet, nobody will blow it for you. You have to be able to blow it yourself. He said, I've given you a mouth and a what? A wisdom. When this church was still very, very small, I will stand before the mirror after dressing up, I will see a mere corimeta. You have to pump yourself up by yourself. And start running yourself down all the time. 
me, I'm nothing, I'm a nobody. I just, you know, if, if that is coming from your mouth, then you are ruining everything. As you go this morning, with your mouth, you build a new destiny. The things you are trusting God for, that you think is far, far from you, they'll begin to come near to you. In the name that is above every name, this will be your most productive year. Yeah. 